Well, good evening. I'm Harvey Amos. And we just got back. Uh, Greg Blackburn, Steve Johnson, and myself just got back from Mexico. Last night, 1 o'clock, probably got back to our houses, so we're all kind of tired around the edges. Um, <clears throat> I was asked to say a few words. I think Steve's going to come up and um, correct all my mistakes that I say. But nevertheless, we went down to Mexico to visit by, uh, Brian Warren <clears throat> and his ministry. Uh, basically, we've had, we had a wonderful time, and we saw a lot of uh, genuine Christian ministry going on um, without any doubt. It was, it was a wonderful experience. Um, going through Otto's, uh, some of his Otto's theological classes here and listening to Brian Warren, I hear the same thing from both of these gentlemen. When you're interpreting scripture, it all, it's all about context, context, context. So the context of the ministries um, in Lochikawe, uh, the environment there is harsh. Uh, the, the weather is hot. Uh, it was dry. Uh, the people there live very close to the elements. They don't live like we do. Um, they don't drop, jump in their cars in the morning drive to work in the air conditioning, go to work in the air conditioning, drive home in the air conditioning, watch TV in the air conditioning. That's not the way they live. Uh, they live very close to the elements. Uh, their water supply is questionable. Um, and the truth of the gospel um, is sparse. Uh, Brian took us up, he, he, he took us up on a little, little hill one day, I believe it's called Turtle Hill, and he showed us the surrounding areas. And he, and he had us look all around the area, and he said there's very, very few genuine Christian preaching ministries. And we just looked out across all of the little communities around. Um, so what we did, our, <clears throat> our technical assignment was to build a, um, a bathroom uh, on the facilities. Um, some of us learned that when we were describing this to some of our friends, it was best to say we were going to Mexico for construction to, to construct a building as opposed to construct a bathroom. That got more, uh, that got more uh, positive response. But anyway, that's what we were there. That was our technical assignment. Our real assignment, though, was to get to know to get, uh, to get to know the people um, uh, in, in Mochikawe, in, in this ministry around Brian's place, and fellowship with them and hear their testimonies, get to know each other um, a little bit better as well, and that's what happened. Um, I really have only one point. I really have only one thing I want to say. And it's based on John 13, 35, and says, By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you uh, have love one for another. And that's really what I saw there. Uh, not only has the gospel, not only has, has Brian preached the gospel, um, but the gospel has taken root. And we were able to fellowship in the evening with various families and they shared their testimonies with us and we shared our testimonies with them and their love and their affection for each other was contagious and it was evident and in the idea of context 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 um, most of the people there work six days a week so their discretionary time is small and these believers have chosen to use uh, the little bit of discretionary time they have to come to church and to fellowship with each other. And their love and concern that they showed us was amazing. Mm -hmm. So there's a valid ministry in Mexico. Uh, the Warren showed us much um, graciousness and, and love. Through his industry, he has made a place for people to come and visit that's comfortable in a harsh environment. And you can go there um, if you have opportunity and minister to them and they can minister to you. And you don't have to be a pioneer anymore to do it. He's made a nice place. So anyways, that's, that's uh, what I have and Steve's gonna finish this up.
Thanks, Harvey. Um, David, you've got the PowerPoint. Okay, I, I threw this together about an hour ago, so <clears throat> this is not going to wow you, but uh, <laughs> uh, but that's not my that's not my purpose up here. Um, so let me use this to keep me on track. So our trip, uh, our trip was really Saturday to Saturday. So yeah, we got in about midnight last night. Uh, so so this yesterday was our travel day coming back, and then last Saturday was our travel day. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next slide. And uh, so back in September, uh, Pastor Warren was in Olathe, and we went to breakfast. In the background there is the Market Grill. You might recognize that at Hy-Vee. And we sat down and enjoyed a breakfast together. And what, um, what really hooked me on this project was it seemed simple, and I felt like I could do it. We were going to go build a bathroom. Well, during that breakfast, Pastor Warren said, well, Steve, yes, we, we are going to build a bathroom, but there's actually something more on the agenda. We're actually going to build relationships, and, um, and that's what happened. And go ahead, next slide. And so let me just give you a quick lay of the land. I don't know if you can see that very well. Obviously, on the left is the United States and then Mexico. Uh, that's just not showing up very well. Uh, you see the long, uh, the long piece of land there on the left. That's the um, Baja Mexico. Right at the very tip is Cabo. If you took a boat across to the land and just a little bit to the north, that's where Los, Los Mochis is. That's where we landed in the airplane after going through Mexico City. So to give you a, a, a feel, it's on the mainland there, or you know, it's, it's uh, on the other side of that uh, uh, Gulf of Cortez. And then as, as you zoom in over here, uh, I did a little map tour there and the lower part of that line is Los Mochis. That's this big city that we arrived in. It's about 250,000 people. And then if you drive to the north of that, that first straight line, that gets you to Mochicaui. That's where the church is. So that's where Brian and Danielle are. It's about a 30 minute drive just straight up that road. And so that's where they live. So that's the big city, um, Los Mochis, to the south. And then if you squiggle up to the north there, that's where Hawada is. That's the original church that the Warrens planted that's there today um, uh, near, near Berto. Am I saying that right? Norbert, Norberto. He's the pastor that leads that church. And so those are the three key points you should know are Los Mochis in the south, Mochicaui, which was where we spent our time, and then we did make a visit Sunday night to, um, to Hawada. Uh, we went other places, but those are the main three that you should know. So there's the lay of the land. Next slide. So, um, so here's our first building project, and that was the Banyo. And um, on the left is the pad. That existed when we showed up. There was a slab of cement, and it sat right on the edge of the property. That little, uh, over our backs is a big field where they plant corn. And it is a big plowed field right now waiting for corn to pop up. So that's right over our backs. And then what we're doing in that left slide is just laying those strips. I'm sure there's a building term for those as we get ready to build the walls up. And then on the right, you can see is, um, it's not a completed project. We got obviously got the walls, the roof, the outside done. And then we got probably two thirds of the inside done. And this is, um, I think this is Friday morning, I'm sorry, Friday about noon. Uh, we started every day around 8.30 building and we finished about noon because of the heat. And these are three white collar guys who, really it's amazing, we came back with all of our fingers. <laughs> we used power tools. Brian just handed us a power tool and said, you know, cut that board. He was very trusting. And uh, we had drills. I mean, we had power tools. Nobody got hurt. I can't believe it. Uh, we, we did take our time. I, I don't want to... I'm making a bit of light, but uh, so anyway, that's that's what we did. And then, Dave, do you, can you flash up the updated? So I got um, I got a text from Brian about one hour ago. Now, because I've been there, the sun is setting on the right. I know it's probably five o'clock when he sent me this picture. And what he told me, would you flip one more slide now, Dave, on the back to the slide? Uh, Brian texted me. Uh, he texted me, and I got this about an uh, hour and a half ago. Um, I was asking him about the pronunciation of the church. That's why he says yes. And he said, by the way, five, we've, five guys from church are finishing up the wall board that's on the inside and hanging the first door right now. 
Everyone's so excited with what you all accomplished this week, praying for you tonight as you share. And uh, um, that's the kind of guy Brian is. Um, I'm, I, and you know, in an odd way, I'm excited we didn't finish. Harvey, aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah they, uh, they, they, wanted to, they wanted to turn a few too. They that's right. Turn I know Brian was a little bit disappointed. I think he had the vision that, that uh, the, uh, the uh, Glacius, the church there, and our church would come shoulder to shoulder, side by side, and build this thing together. We did have one gentleman come and join us, uh, Antonio uh, De La Cruz. Uh, for a few hours and um, but these people work all day long they probably go to work at seven and they probably get off about seven or eight well the sun sets about 5 30 and they get a little break in the middle and so um, we were happy to work and i'm happy that they're hanging the doors uh, because it's just it's very satisfying um, so that's that's the little that's the little building project now let's go to the bigger building project um, so I want to talk uh, for a minute about the Warrens. Pastor Mike asked me to just give my impressions of their ministry. And um, we really got to know each other. And uh, I'll get to the point. Um, one morning, I was sitting there with Brian. And I asked him some hard questions. I said, you've been here 17 years. You've got this little church. What's going on? And I had prefaced it by saying, Brian, I come from a culture that's about numbers. I get that. In America, this is a little church. I get that. And so he laid out for me. Um, and what I walked away with was they're not about building numbers. They're about changing Mexico for Christ. And um, this is family. You know, where friends become family is our slogan here at Countryside. It is the, it's the case there as well. And if you don't know this, uh, the Warren's two children are married to Mexicans and they happen to be, uh, their family are church members. I mean, it's, friends are becoming family in Mexico as well. Um, and uh, so uh, this, I, I didn't get a good picture of Brian and Danielle together. So this is obviously Brian with one of our power tools, uh, shaving off the edge. Um, of, the, of the building there to get it nice and flush. We, we, we came up with lots of good bathroom humor. <laughs> oh, oh, mercy. Um, and we were very relieved when we were... were oh. So you can see we spent way too much time thinking about this. Uh, this is this is Danielle uh, with the ladies. So on Thursday night, the men's and the men's group and the women's group met. The guys were outside in a, just a beautiful covered area uh, outside of the Warren's uh, property, kind of a patio area. And then the ladies were inside. This picture doesn't do justice, but Danielle was on the corner. And you know, Danielle would say her ministry is you know loving and caring for her husband, and that is true. And I witnessed that. And. Um, you know, it's all very subtle the way life happens, but I can see that relationship those two have, and it just, um, it just lifted my heart to see the love they have for each other. And, um, and then she also ministers to the ladies, and it's more in an informal way. Um, and here they are discussing a Bible study. Um, but I watched them during the week, and I saw what was happening, and she ministers to those ladies. Um, their family, this is not, I said to Brian and Danielle, you guys are all in. This is not something you're doing. They're all in on uh, bringing the word of God to Mexico, uh, and in this case to Mochicaui. And um, so my impressions are, um, this is a couple that is all in. They love each other deeply. Uh, Brian, you can misread the guy. He's very humble. He's very soft-spoken. He listens a lot more than he speaks. Um, He's not harsh. He's very gentle. And, um, but don't let that fool you. This guy is a warrior. And um, uh, Pastor Mike, you've got the right man and the right woman in Mexico. Um, these guys are, um, they're laying down deep roots. They love their church. They take all the time in the world to counsel people. To, they took us to dinner each night. Um, and um, I'm struggling here to find the words, but um, they are inspiring. 
and they're not there to prove anything, but they're, they're you know, loving the Lord and sharing the word. And so uh, that, those are some of my impressions of the Warrens. Uh, let's see, we got an update on the building. Oh, by the way, just a side thing. Um, the Warrens live in a beautiful home. Uh, I, was, I was, as the week went on, and I saw all the things that Brian had actually done with his physical hands on that to make their house a home, I was amazed. The guy's like a MacGyver. It just, everywhere I turned. And, um, and he's got a beautiful home for his family. Um, I called it the compound, because when you pull up, you'll notice a wall with barbed wire, and then right on the edge of the wall is broken pieces of glass all the way around the property. Heavy fences, heavy chains, um, and you might get the wrong impression at first. Uh, as I got to know Brian and we talked, he just said he wants to take away the temptation. There is a lot of theft, but uh, Brian um, just wants to make it so that if anybody, he takes away any temptation to steal by locking everything up, covering up things that are valuable, and just making it so somebody who is desperate wouldn't be tempted. And that's the heart I got for the man, just on this security thing. So um, anyway, let's see what's on the next slide. Okay, so Iglesias Biblica Palabra de Cristo. So um, the, uh, I got a text from Brian here and I was just asking him. I said, Brian, would you say uh, uh, Iglesias Biblica Palabra de Cristo in English is the Word of Christ Bible Church? And he said, yes. So, um, well, the order of things, you know, Iglesia is church, Biblica is Bible, Palabra is word, and then Cristo is Christ. So, but anyway, this is their church. Um, on the far right is where they worship, and the proportions are very skewed on this. But I wanted you guys to just get a feel for the property. So, it's very, it's much larger than it appears, but that's open air, that's where they worship. There's a stage that's permanent, there's a, there's a, a stage that's permanent. Um, and then straight ahead is the building where we had the Wednesday night church. It's a closed building, but uh, open windows, um, so good circulation. Lots of fans everywhere. And then on the far left, you can see the platform. That's before we started any of the building. So, um, so we now have a bathroom on the left, the dental ministry, which is really the purpose of our trip also, was to lay a foundation so that when, in February, the dental ministry shows up, there's a, there's a, a great bathroom for all the people that are coming. So that's, that's a quick look at, at the uh, property. Uh, go ahead, Dave, go to the next one. And then um, on the left is a close-up of after our worship service, just some fellowshipping going on. And then down to the right, I was playing some tethered ball with Max on the right, uh, Jorge in the middle, and uh, Juan Manuel on the left. These are two, three fun kids. Um, and they would get so excited, they would come up to me and just start speaking Spanish. And I, I don't, I'm, I want to learn Spanish, but they were so excited, anyway. Um, and so it was a lot of fun to see those kids throughout the week. Uh, go ahead, Dave, turn the next, next slide. So here's Wednesday night. Um, this is um, Antonio de la Cruz. He's the pastor in training. And my understanding is when the uh, dental ministry goes down in February, is that right, Pastor Brian, that uh, he will be installed as a pastor. Um, the man is full of joy. And before he came to Christ, he was angry. And we spent some time with him, and he is a joy to be with. So, there, I don't know if you can tell, uh, right next to um, Antonio is uh, Tony. He's sitting down with a guitar, and here we're doing worship and um, singing. And uh, so this is uh, Daniel doing a panoramic photo of our uh, Wednesday night service. You can see the fans going, keeping us all comfortable. Uh, next slide. And then, um, yeah, so, uh, so Hardy talked about uh, Brian taking us up on this hill. Uh, Mochikawi means Turtle Hill. And so there's a hill, and I know some of the youth who went uh, maybe had this same. Raise your hand if you walked up this hill. Anybody here? Okay, Michael. Okay, I see a few in the back. Um, so this gives you a view for miles. And yes, um, Pastor Warren essentially made a really powerful point by saying you see all this area the word of god is not being preached here in other words there's a, the fields are uh, we need workers um but, and on the bottom there's us walking up the hill so by the way just a bit of trivia just a fun little thing um do you, you're wondering who took that picture on the top there there was just the four of us up that hill 
Well, the way we did it was I told the guys, I'm going to start this pano, and uh, Pastor Brian, when I give you the signal, you run over, grab the camera for me, and I'm going to sneak over into the picture. And that's what I did. So we had a little, it's an optical illusion there. Um, anyway, uh, next slide. Okay. Um, Harvey, before I wrap up, any, anything you want to add? Uh, no, you, you covered it. Thanks. Okay, so uh, Greg Blackburn is not here, and he was one of the three amigos, and uh, he wrote a letter, and I'm going to read it to you. Uh, if you have ever wondered if the church in Mexico is the right investment, I can help answer you. God is at work building his church in Mo Mochicawi. Pastor Brian and Danielle are being used to reach and bring to maturity his elect in this part of the world. This week has opened my eyes to how big our God is and how he is at work in lives around the world. The sweet fellowship to those who express their love for Jesus in a different language and culture is something I will never forget. This love and thanksgiving is written on their faces and this experience must be a preview of fellowship in heaven with every nation and tongue. I am thankful for the time with Pastor Brian. I am blessed and encouraged by the maturity in his walk with the Lord and his knowledge of the word that seems well beyond his years. This was like a week of intensive, wonderful discipleship for me with the man of God that I can follow as he follows Christ. He is well qualified to lead this work and he also swings a good pickaxe for a guy with back problems. Danielle is a gracious host. This was my first good opportunity to get to know her and I love her honesty and how it really is. Her down-to-earth personality and her chili relin, relin, how do you say that? Brian, Brianos? Anyway, the message I bring back to Countryside was perhaps best summarized when young Carlos, as one of the young guys, um, young Carlos during our men's gathering on Thursday evening said, quote, I cannot thank you enough for being willing to be used by God to send my Pastor Brian to me, end quote. Carlos is in his 20s and a new believer and thrives under Pastor Brian's care. Honestly, I am one that has to push myself out of my comfort zone at times and just trust the Lord and do something I know I should do. Going to Mexico was one of those things I did not have a natural desire to do, unless you count laying on the beach in, Cancun, in the Cancun sun. I am so thankful for this experience that has blessed me in a way that is difficult to describe. If you have not yet seen the Lord's work there with your own eyes and heart, I want to encourage you to do so. Greg Blackburn. Thank you.